Electronic Gaming Monthly often abbreviated to EGM is a monthly American video game magazine. It offers video game news, coverage of industry events, interviews with gaming figures, editorial content, and product reviews. History the magazine was founded in 1988 as U.S. national video game team's Electronic Gaming Monthly under Sendai Publications. In 1994, EGM spun off EGM Squared, which focused on expanded cheats and tricks i.e., with maps and guides. It eventually became Expert Gamer and finally the defunct GameNow. After 83 issues up to June 1996, EGM switched from Sendai Publishing to Ziff Davis Publisher. Until January 2009, EGM only covered gaming on console hardware and software. In 2002, the magazine's subscription increased by more than 25%. The magazine was discontinued by Ziff Davis in January 2009, following the sale of 1UP.com to Yugo Networks. The magazine S. February 2009 issue was already completed, but was not published. In May 2009, EGM founder Steve Harris purchased the magazine and its assets from Ziff Davis. The magazine was relaunched in April 2010 by Harris. New company EGM Media, LLC, widening its coverage to the PC and mobile gaming markets. Notable contributors to Electronic Gaming Monthly have included Martin Alessi, Ken Williams as Sushi X, Trickman, Terry Minich, Andrew Cyber Boy, Baron, Daniel Carpenter, Mark Cameron, later Director of Operations, Mark Candyman, Lefebvre, Todd Rogers, Mike Weigand, A.K.A. Major Mike now managing editor at GamePro magazine, All Manuel, Howard Grossman, arcade editor Mark Mo Hain, Mike Virus, Valas, Jason Streets, Ken Bagiak, Scott Augustin, Chris Johnston, Che Cho, Dave Rushala, Crispin Boyer, Greg Seward, Jean Tries, Jennifer Sow, artist Jeremy Norm Scott, Sean Shonimal Smith, West Coast editor Kelly Rickards, Craig Kujawa, Dean Hager, Jeremy Parrish, and Mark McDonald. Donald, who later went on to become director of GameVideos.com before leaving Ziff Davis. Writers who also served stints as editor-in-chief include Ed Semrad, Joe Funk, John Davison, James Milkey, artist Jeremy Norm, Scott, and Sean Baby. In addition, writers of EGM S various sister publications, including GameNow, Computer Gaming World, Games for Windows, the official magazine, official U.S. PlayStation magazine, would regularly contribute to EGM, and vice versa. The magazine is known for making April Fool's jokes. Its April 1992 issue was the source of the Sheng Long hoax in Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. Topic. Magazine structure. Topic. The magazine includes the following sections Insert coin Letter from the editor, the editorial Login, letters from readers and replies by the magazine Press start This section contains a general article about video gaming EGM roundtable, discussions around video games The buzz, industry rumors the EGM Hot List – Background information about a critically acclaimed game Features – Feature articles The EGM Interview – Interview with a person from the gaming industry Cover Story – Preview of the game featured on the magazine cover Next Wave – Previews of upcoming games Launch Point – Short previews of upcoming games Review Crew – Review section Review Recap – Recapitulation of the review scores from the preceding issue Game Over – Commentary articles on video gaming-related topics Topic. The Review Crew Topic. EGM's current review scale is based on a letter grade system in which each game receives a grade based on its perceived quality. Games are reviewed by one member originally a team of four until the year 2000, then a team of three, and finally knocked down to one in 2008, except for the big games, which were reviewed by one of a pool of editors known as the review crew. Quote, they each assign a grade to the game and write a few paragraphs about their opinion of the game. 
The magazine makes a strong stance that a grade of C is average. Towards the top of the scale, awards are given to games that average A B or higher from the three individual grade. Silver. Awards for games averaging a grade of B to B. Gold. Awards for games averaging a grade of A or A, and Platinum awards for games with three A plus grades. The current letter grade system replaced a long-standing 0 to 10 scale in the April 2008 issue. In that system, silver went to a game with an average rating from 8 to 9, gold to a game reviewed at 9 to 10, and platinum to a game that received nothing but 10 ratings. Until 1998, as a matter of editorial policy, the reviewers rarely gave scores of 10, and never gave a platinum award. That policy changed when the reviewers gave Metal Gear Solid 4 10 ratings in 1998, with an editorial announcing the shift. In addition, they gave the game or multiple games in the event of a tie, as with Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas for Xbox and NCAA Football 2006 with the highest average score for that issue a Game of the Month award. If a Game of the Month title receives a port to another console, that version is disqualified from that month. S award, such as with Resident Evil 4, which won the award for the Nintendo GameCube version and subsequently received the highest scores for the PlayStation 2 port months later, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, which won the Platinum Award for two separate versions of the game. In 2002, EGM began giving games that earned unanimously bad scores a Shame of the Month award. As there is not always such a game in each issue, this award is only given out when a game qualifies. Originally, a team of four editors reviewed all the games. This process was eventually dropped in favor of a system that added more reviewers to the staff so that no one person reviewed all the games for the month. Though the scores ranged from 0 to 10 on the previous numerical scale, the score of 0 was almost never utilized, with exceptions being Mortal Kombat Advance, The Guy Game, and Ping Pals. Topic. International expansion Topic. EGM and Español was released in Mexico in November 2002. It was published by Editorial Televisa and is edited by a different staff. Sometimes the content was more focused to the Latin American gaming crowd e.g. soccer games were paid more attention than NASCAR or American football games, as well as the humor and other features. Sometimes it featured jokes among the Mexican community much of this is credited to Daniel Avales, former managing editor, who expands his particular humor on his blog and podcast and sometimes supported the production with a poster. Adrián Carbajal Carqui, with a long experience in Mexican gaming magazines prior to EGM and Español, he worked in now-competitor publications Club Nintendo and Atomics, was the editor-in-chief through the entire run. There was a weekly official podcast called Playtime, hosted by the most of the editorial staff. EGM and Espanol has been cancelled as of December 2008 due to Ziff Davis Media's economical problems. EGM was also published in Brazil as EGM Brazil by Conrad Editora since April 2002. Since the last quarter of 2005, EGM Brazil was being published by Futuro Comunicação. With the suspension of U.S. sales of the EGM, the Brazilian EGM was rebranded to EGW Entertainment Plus Game World. In 2006 three other editions of EGM were published around the world. EGM Thailand is published by Future Gamer Company Limited, EGM Singapore is published by Mediacorp Publishing and EGM Turkey is published by Merckster G. Topic. Internet presence. In 1995, EGM's first online website was Nuke.com. It merged with GameSpot in 1996 after Ziff Davis purchased Sendai Media Group. In 2003, EGM created a new website, OneUp.com, after GameSpot was sold to CNET Networks. Since the magazine's relaunch in 2010, the affiliated website has been Emno.com. EGM Live Asterisk was a podcast hosted every Monday by the editors of EGM on OneUp.com. The podcast was available for download at OneUp.com or the iTunes Music Store. 
Much like other podcasts on the One UP network, the program could include discussion of various message board topics, an analysis of new games being reviewed, a mailbag section, a deeper look into the most recent issue of the magazine, or interviews with special guests such as Marcus Henderson and Ted Lang from Harmonix and Cliff Blazinski from Epic Games. The asterisk at the end of the name was to denote that the podcast was not actually live in the general media sense. It was later replaced by 1UPFM, another weekly Monday podcast where 1UP crew members Nick Sutner and Phil Collar hosted the show, along with other 1UP members. EGM2 EGM2, stylized as EGM2 is a video game magazine published by Sendai Publishing from July 1994 to July 1998 as a spin-off of Electronic Gaming Monthly. Unlike EGM, however, EGM2 lacked a reviews section and had a greater emphasis on import games. Starting in August 1998, EGM2 became Expert Gamer often abbreviated as XG. Although with a different name, XG continued EGM2's numbering system. XG lasted for 39 issues until October 2001, with the last issue being XG number 88. Topic: History. Topic: The first issue of EGM2 was in July 1994. The magazine lasted 49 issues with the last issue under the original name coming out in July 1998. The change of name prompted a cleaner looking redesign although the content of the magazine would remain the same. Reception In a 2014 retrospective, Polygon said for two decades, EGM maintained a focal position in the game's media landscape. In the time before the Internet, the periodical was a vital conduit for American readers interested in the hobby. References External links Topic. EGM Now, official site of the revised magazine. EGM History page on Videogameobsession, contains information and covers for both runs of EGM.